And you are back on the tortoise and hare experience. You just heard World Up My Ass by the Circle Jerks. Uh, with us, um, I, I wish we could do an unveil. I wish, you know. I like know, a, right? Like a, a slow unveil. Yeah. Greg Hedson. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hide my head and then do the whole turtle thing yeah 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 that's cute he is with us but as in every experience we also like to start it off with an experience right. um and now you went first this I time did. right I did. and this is this is something cool um one of my friends his name is avery he listens to the show hi avery and um he he was like, hey, um, why don't you ever, like, because he was talking about the process. And I was telling him how sometimes I just, um, I, you know, I'm in the moment, so I just try to remember at that moment an experience that I went through. And he goes, why don't you just write it down on your phone when you have an experience? He's like, there that you way go. you have. And you I was remember. like, yeah, I was like, you're right. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually looking um, at my uh, phone. Um, and this is an experience that I, I was working and I met this, the, the, these two people and, um, they have a process that I was so intrigued by and what, what, what it was, was, uh, so I was helping them out and, um, they didn't know what to decide. So they pulled out a coin they just flipped the coin right then and there. And I was like, Oh my God, that was great. And they're like, yeah, we do this all the time. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, anytime we can't make a decision, we just always flip a coin. And I thought that that was the most interesting like experience ever. And so I think now whenever I, you know, am, you know, caught between a rock and a hard place, I'm just going to flip a coin because that really, because th there's a lot of times in my life, where I'm, I'm a very analytical person. People, people mm -hmm. that know me, that really know me, know me as a very, I could spend 10 hours on one decision, 20 hours on the next. And then 63 hours on both of them, you know, <laughs> it's a huge waste of time. It, no, it's not because I'm really thinking about all the possibilities and outcomes, but I really admired these people for just, you know, flipping a coin, just saying, hey, we're just going to leave it up to the fate. So I, I thought that was really cool. And I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do that now. All right. I haven't oh, done it yet because yeah. there hasn't been a major decision in my life yet or right. anything crazy. But There's nothing, nothing exciting happening. <laughs> no, nothing yet. Right. Um, so yeah, that was an experience. I thought it was uh, nice. really cool. And I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, have, do you do stuff like that, Greg? Or I don't. But I read this book. It was really long and very boring. But it was the only <laughs> book I had on tour once. It was called, I think it was called The Dice Man. It's about this guy who decides he's going to decide the fate of everything he does by the roll of the dice. Nice. And he has different different rules on what numbers come up I and mean, that kind of stuff. So luckily but it wasn't about Andrew Dice. Club. Yeah, I was like, Andrew no, Dice. no, it was, it, it was a great concept, but it just went on too long. Right. But uh, it was a pretty interesting concept on a way to live. Nice. Max, what uh, experience have you been going through? Um, I was, uh, I was over getting my hair done. Your hair did? My hair did. I was getting it did. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I was at uh, Kobe B in Sherman Oaks with the lovely Ronit. And I'm sitting in the chair and looking through these magazines and there's this town and country magazine, which is a very famous, mm -hmm. you know, magazine. magazine and I'm flipping the pages and I ran across two entire pages of me and, um, you know, shocking cause you know, I wasn't expecting that. I got, you know, no notice of that. And it was a, a photo that I had done for a jewelry company where they painted me black. So from the waist to the top of my head, I'm completely black. But they didn't do it the way that they do it today, like Jake Rowanhouse would do it with, you know, spray paint and, you know. Well, this was back in the stuff. 1950s, right? Well, so yeah, like you know, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty ancient. <laughs> right. And um, so they, they actually sprayed me down with, like, you know, the cans of spray. Cool. And I couldn't breathe. I, was, I thought I was going to die. And, and it was like 19 hours in, you know, from, from beginning right. to end and, um, and four people to get it off of me. So I had to stand I'm sure people shower. were like, Oh no, I'll, I'll help get it off. But so, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at these photos and all of these memories are flooding back to me and, and, and I'm thinking, where the hell is my paycheck? <laughs> That's mainly what I was thinking really. Okay. Yeah. I was painted blue once for a video. Yeah. We were all painted blue to make it to make us look like we were coming out of static off out of some green toxic water. We were stuck painted blue and in toxic water for 
hours and hours for a video shoot, so I can feel your pain. Nice. What, what kind of what kind of uh, paint was it? I have no idea. Was it like the thick, shiny kind, or it wasn't? It was it was very. Uh, it was more like reminds me more of the tempera. Yeah. From like when you were a little kid, they give <laughs> yeah. you paint. That's what I love that like stuff. I, I used to like <laughs> want to eat that stuff all the time. It smelled really cool in the jar. Did you, you have a? Uh, <laughs> did you have a? Uh, uh, paint in your nose and ears for days because <laughs> I did <laughs> yes. yeah I think I'm still finding it yeah I don't know so we share an experience uh, what experience have you been going through oh lately experience yeah. I've been going through oh wow yeah my, ex- my experience uh, let's see a tough one hmm I've been fighting the uh, dog hairs in my house for my dog oh, oh no. I thought I thought Should like I? hair oh, of yeah. the dog I'm like, no <laughs> No, I don't know if that qualifies for what we're talking (laughs) about. Yeah, it does. Totally, man. It's just driving me nuts. Are you allergic to uh, I'm allergic to dogs. But yet you have one. I have a dog. (laughs) I'm allergic to pretty much everything. (laughs) So I have this basset hound, and he sheds a lot. So I got to take him to get washed today because I just had my house cleaned. So I don't want him. I don't want to have him all the hair all over my house anymore. Yeah, it's it's nice and clean. You have to get the like. I fight it. It's like everywhere, and it freaks me out. It's like. I'm like picking stuff off me. I have a hypoallergenic dog. Do you? What do you have? It's um, he's a wire hair terrier. Okay. You know, cute little thing. But my neighbor that I was talking about earlier on the show, um, who was arrested, has a pug, and mm-hmm. so now I have both of them. Oh. And it's just madness in my house. We'll get a Mexican hairless next time. Yeah, those are so cute. They are cute. But you have to, you know, dress them up with like little sweaters and you know sunscreen yeah, all sunscreen, the time. Sunscreen, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend who has one. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're very. And they cute. were just recognized by the AKZ rate recently. I saw that on a dog show <laughs> yeah. for Thanksgiving. I saw that same dog show. Did you? Yeah, right. that's like my favorite part of Thanksgiving. It's not the football. <laughs> it's not well, watching y- football y- for like all day. Yes, b- except for the fact. Too. You know that the Eagles lost, and I I, re- I want to kill them because it's just getting ridiculous now. Yeah, they're like I think they're like four and something. It's or something. just it's ridiculous. Yeah, there's no excuse for them right now. It's funny though uh, because I was I was watching football, and then every now and then there's like five TVs on, and then I, there was a, there was a dog show going on, and I couldn't see anything, but I was just like. That's that's interesting. Right. A dog show on Thanksgiving. Dog it's always on. Great. It's really? always on every every year. The National Dog Show from Philadelphia. That's right. <laughs> from Heck the yeah. T S O P, the sound of Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. where I'm from. I'm a Philly girl. So yeah. you know. Gotta have the love. City it's a brotherly love. It is. And what about sisterly love? Well, I don't care about that. All right. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah, you're all about the sisters. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, I read somewhere. Uh, speaking of your dog, is this true that your dog really ate a baby shark? Yes, he did. Oh no! <laughs> so you can't get that with a okay. chihuahua. <laughs> no, I, I, I have this terrible phobia of sharks. Like it's it's weird. I don't like looking at pictures of them. I don't like seeing them in the aquariums. They just freak me out. Really? TV Shark Week. You just got you know, sequester me away from a TV set and uh, Discovery Channel or whatever it's on. So my daughter jokingly a few years ago gave me this baby shark in formaldehyde you can buy like at novelty stores, but it's a real baby shark. Uh-oh. And uh, was sitting in her room for years. My dog just decides out of the blue, today's the day. <laughs> He's like, so I've he, been looking at it. He takes it outside. He took it outside, broke it open, and ate it. And it was just a horrible stench. I'm sorry. He took it outside, broke it open, and then brought it in and ate it on her bed. Oh. Wow. And we come home, and there's like, what's that horrible smell? And then it's like, oh. I don't know. We're looking around, and I'm like, Bun-um. see the, the broken glass in the backyard. Bun-um. Yeah. <laughs> do you think it's because, like, maybe in, like, your past life, I don't know if you believe in past lives or not, but do you think that maybe, like, you were either a shark or you were hunted by a shark, do you think? It's quite possible. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you should come for a session. We can figure that out. Okay, yeah. you know, I do past life regression in my therapy. Yeah, so. Let me find that out. Right. Yeah. I want to get over this, this fear. That yeah. and iceberg lettuce. So <laughs> iceberg lettuce. Okay, Creep all right. Well, we got to talk about <laughs> that. Maybe I need a psychiatrist. <laughs> What's up with that? Is it, is it never the fear of, of the taste of it, like the texture of it? What's it's a texture. It's the texture. It's a texture. You don't yeah. like crunchy? I do like crunchy, but I don't like... I don't. I think. I think it's probably growing up 
where your parents like eat some salad and all they had was mm-hmm. iceberg. All you had is, you know, growing up in what late sixties, early seventies, you keep your parents come home with a big s- salad, right. it's just iceberg lettuce with some stuff drizzled on it. That's disgusting. It tastes <laughs> like wet grass. It grosses me out. Maybe know. that's the problem. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe they put your head in the grass or something when you were little. No, no, I don't no. know. It's we like, should. You don't know we what have you're to missing. Go back. We have to go yeah, back. I do know it. I don't. Like <laughs> iceberg lettuce. It's iceberg lettuce. Yeah, I'm going to spend fifteen dollars for iceberg wedge. <laughs> that's a fancy restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Kidding. It's deli- yeah. You know what it is? It's the paradox of crunchy wet because those yeah. two things really shouldn't exist, but yet that but walks do. that line. Yeah, but I'm okay really with do. I'm okay with a carrot, a raw carrot. I don't know what it is about iceberg lettuce. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. That's <laughs> that's a very strange thing. I would have never known that about you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> You're welcome. That was awesome. I'm I'm glad I get that off my chest. (laughs) (laughs) The world now knows. (laughs) Never feed this man iceberg lettuce. (laughs) (laughs) So you were, um, this is a surprising fact that I just found out um, because we were recently together over at uh, the Rainbow uh, with our good friend Tom Hazart. And you, you bowl. I bowl, yeah. No That's, way. Yeah, he's like on a league and the whole yeah. deal. What's, what's the name got, of your bowling team? Is it like the My pin, bowling team is pin-ups? called Vag Wagon. That's awesome. And it's uh, oh. it was t- it started by these two girls that are really big Lag Wagon fans. So they just oh, changed the logo awesome. from Lag Wagon to Vag yeah. Wagon. Wait, were you in Lag Wagon? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, the, no. The, the girls <laughs> that started a team are, okay. yeah. are fans of Lag Wagon. That'd be funny. Oh, Vag Wagon. So, That's a great uh, name. Yeah, it's a bowling league over at uh, Pins in Studio City. It's called the Gutter Punks Bowling Le- Invitational Bowling League or something like that. Yeah. It's a like, lot of are fun. Are you good? No. No. <laughs> but everything's handicapped. So for some reason, even though our team is not that great, we have one good bowler and uh, on our team, uh, but we're like in fourth place right now. Do you use uh, the little... Bumpers, the or, rails. Yeah. No, that's not allowed. But yeah, okay, I would, good. that would be fun if we we could. Yeah, yeah. that would make for a more exciting yeah. night. Do you, Do you ever do like cosmic bowling just on like your off time? I have done that. Yeah, I love it. It's fun. There's music. It's dark. You know, I I now this is my rule. I suck until I hit three beers. When I hit three beers, I'm unstoppable. But it's that's the key is the three beers, and then after that, after that third beer, it's downhill from there. So. Uh, do, that's you, you can determine what is what you know people have the argument what's a sport and what's not a sport if the better you the better you do the sport you, the more you drink it's not a sport no right? that's bullshit <laughs> okay so bowling's not a sport <laughs> bowling is definitely a sport totally a sport <laughs> it's definitely a you're sport gonna, you're gonna have a whole bunch of people in milwaukee angry right now <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's not a sport and in idaho How dare you? <laughs> in idaho they take bowling extremely serious i, I, I think they take it serious everywhere. Okay. It's a serious thing. <laughs> right now we're going to get a bunch of comments. Bowling is God. Like what? Yeah. It's bowling okay. and roller skating. No. No. no, no at the same time? <laughs> that would be great. When I was a kid, that's, that's what, what everybody I'm did. About. That's what everybody did. That they would went be to, fun. You know, roller, roller bowling. Right. They had the bowling alley and the roller rink right next to each other. So you would go and, and do both. Yeah. That was your whole weekend. Well, we got bowling and ice skating right down the street in Burbank. Well, see, you got to start a thing. Yeah, you have an it. ice Makes skating sense. league. We're on to well, something. I don't know. <laughs> you heard it here first. It's right? very punk rock. It's very very punk rock. And what else is punk rock? Are you still doing your radio show? I do have a radio show. Yeah, I got to tape it tonight. Oh, cool! What, I'm what preparing you? by doing this. Yeah. <laughs> right. what, Nothing not can prepare say. you for this. No, no, no. no. Nothing We're can prepare you for doing a radio show, <laughs> except for showing up and doing a radio show. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, true. What is it about your radio show? Are you, are you, is it very off the cuff or is it uh, very uh, predetermined? No, I usually have one guest. Okay. And that's, but I, that's determined. Okay. But the rest of it, I kind of, you know, it's just, I throw a lot of stuff in there. I play a lot, mostly punk rock stuff or something along pre-punk or some more heavy stuff. But every once in a while, I, I do have a, set, a, a section that I call uh, Shameless... Uh, not shame. I always call it shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Guilty pleasures. I got to start doing a segment called sh- shameless self-promotion because yeah. yeah. I yeah. keep calling it that. So I, I'll play something like, you know. Like a guilty pleasure. Well, a guilty pleasure. Now, you know? what what to you is a guilty pleasure song? Oh, I'll play, I don't know, something like Escavel or something. Okay. Nice. Or, for, uh, for me, it would be Wham because I wham. love Wham. 
huge I'm, fan. I'm cool with Wham. I played I played some Boney M. Okay. If you're familiar with them, I, they're, I'm not. They're like a a Swedish, not Swedish. The uh, not Swedish. They're from uh, they're German. Okay. But they're from like uh, the the Caribbean originally, like Barbados or something. But it's a, it's a vocal group, a prefab vocal group, very disco-y, and they're really good. Okay. Very very ABBA-esque. Nice. That's why I keep oh, thinking okay. they're Swedish. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything good is from Sweden. Do you like um, comb through like tombs of like archives of music, or is, it, or is this just stuff that you have lying around your home? Most of the stuff is lying around, but that only lasts a while. I found out. Right. So I've been having to buy some stuff, and a lot of stuff I only have in vinyl, and I haven't been able to transfer it. So trying to find that on iTunes has been challenging. You don't um, just bring your vinyl record, you know, to the studio. Yeah, and just play I do it. that sometimes. You know, yeah. I think that, I always think that's fun. It's, that's it like is a fun. big thing right now. Is vinyl is yeah. like everything is going back. back. To it. Yeah, you know. my son is constantly buying. You know, and that now they're coming out with like all different designs on them, and right. you know, special editions, like you know, different my colors. My daughter just downloads stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't like that about her. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't encourage that. It's no downloading. You don't must you buy. Know? Yeah. I don't know, the whole thing about... Damn um, kids. Uh, <laughs> Steve Lukather <laughs> just had, wrote a, a really nice article about that, about you know downloading and how it's destroying our industry. And, um, and it's true. Because yeah, we're, you know, no, we're not... It, it, everything you know, is destroying the industry. It's, it's not just like one thing. The industry thing. destroyed the industry. Yeah, well, thank you. That's true. I but there still you know, has to be that's, a certain amount theory. of respect. Mm-hmm. My theorem. Right. <laughs> You have to have a certain amount of respect for musicians and, you yes. know, a, at least buy something. Don't, you know, don't jack our, our tracks. You know, right. it's kind of rude. You know, we have to eat too. Someone's got to, yeah, you got to eat too. Yeah. Speaking of eating, um, we are going to Are we he- catering? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, what's, okay. So let's hear another song. Uh, this is going to be, we're going to hear a bad religion song. Let's go with the Atomic Garden. Excellent choice. Yes, thank you. And then uh, when we come back, more with Greg Hudson. Uh, by the way, let me give out your Twitter. I was trying to find your uh, your website. and I, I don't have a website. Yeah, so I'll have no, your Twitter. I got Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I don't really have a public Facebook. I got the Hudson's House uh, Facebook page for my radio show. Okay. I'll look for that. Um, here's uh, twitter.com slash Greg Hetson. And don't worry, I'll have the link on. It's all uh, lies. Yeah. <laughs> all of it is. It was just. I see iceberg lettuce. I'm freaking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see on the camera? Uh. <laughs> but watch that be a new thing. Like anytime you do, you know, a show, people are just going to come with. Iceberg letters be like, oh, can you sign this? Yeah, they're That's just going to be I, throwing them I in. did that to the bass player, Xander, of the Circle Jerks. He had this fear of parsley on the plate. He would freak <laughs> out. Uh, so one day, uh, we were doing the video. Actually, I was actually doing the video shoot for Atomic Garden, which is really funny. And for you know, we got this huge deli tray, and it was this huge bed of parsley. So I took it and put it in a trash bag and left it at his front, de- front <laughs> desk, at his front door. So when he got home later on that day from whatever he was doing, it was a big bag of parsley. That's, that's great. Just, that's yeah. Did he, he freak he, out or? You know, he's, he freaked out. He's like, I don't even want to pick up a bag full of it, but it got him over his fear. <laughs> so I need <laughs> to face my fear. Yeah. That's good. I need yes. to go into a shark tank. Yes, go into a shark tank, feed yes. him lettuce. And boom. <laughs> the shark tank with they a don't head of lettuce iceberg lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> They're not uh, fans once. of lettuce. Yeah. If anything, that's at least uh, the cover of your next uh, album. Right. <laughs> Which you, you've started a new side project, right? Yeah, I have a, a thing. We don't have a name yet. It's me and Loomis Fall, who was drummer for Wax, and he was in the Jackass TV show, movies, all that stuff. We have an album in the can, as they say, in the biz. Right. Mm-hmm. And I got some projects I'm working on. I'm L.A. busy. I'm writing my screenplay at Starbucks every day, you know. Taking <laughs> news. Are you really writing a screenplay? No. At Starbucks? Oh, no. 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 But like, no, it's Star- coffee beans. That's, that's like, yeah, I'm, that's L.A. busy. I call it yeah. L.A. busy. It's true. Yeah, I'm taking, you know, I'm working on some projects, working on my screenplay. Yeah, yeah. I'm writing. I'm writing. Yeah. I'm taking a month off. I have a lot of interest. There's a lot of interest. <laughs> it's from my parents, but, you know, <laughs> it's interest. It's zombies in space. In space. <laughs> no one's thought of that. Yeah, no, nobody ever. Nobody. Icebergs and sharks. Exactly. Hmm. 
Um, <laughs> it's the new Jaws, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, we have we have so many mutual friends. It's like it's crazy, but a lot of them are into your punk rock karaoke, right? Which is okay. awesome. I like that. And, and let, let me tell you this: I'm not a fan of karaoke because it's it's too um, automatic. Uh, you know, for lack of a better term, because yeah. everything is, is all pre-programmed, you know, and and it, it just feels like you're just there and you're seeing the lyrics, but the lyrics, you know, are, are coming. What I do like about what you guys do is it's an actual band. So it's it's more of like a concert, like you really can, you know, yeah. feed off that energy. Well, that's it's cool. It's, it, for karaoke is cool. You get up and you get to sing, but you just you got a full band behind. Right. You. Of the finest sidemen, you know, money can can buy. Right, <laughs> or so not it's, buy. So it's a lot of fun, and it's fun for us because we get to play all of, of our favorite punk rock songs that we've loved forever, and uh, it's cool for the kids to come up or the adults, whatever you want to call them, the fan, <laughs> the participant. They get to be a, be a rock star for five minutes. It's great. And it's a good time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my roommate uh, Lauren is uh, going to celebrate. Lauren Phillips. She's the one in jail. No, the, oh, okay. she's that's a neighbor. Um, <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> from a different Lauren, guest. <laughs> right. uh, Lauren is celebrating her birthday on December eighth and is having a party at Pornstar Karaoke. Okay. At what? Pornstar Karaoke. What size? You get a bang oh, bang you while know. you it's sing. A, it, well, you wish. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. No, but it's a lot of porn stars that come down. And, okay. And it's going to be a. I heard that's fun. I haven't blast. been to that. Well, you should come. <laughs> It'll be good, you know. A bunch of porn stars can't. You can't go wrong with that. That should be the uh, name uh, of that's porn. That's always star a barrel of fun. A bunch of porn stars. Yeah, yeah they are definitely fun. Woo. I'm. I am not a porn star. So anybody who's thinking right. that I am just because I live with one, it's not true. Nor am I. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am. that's not <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> so that I, 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 I heard <laughs> otherwise. But that that should be a funny name, like porn star karaoke. You should come. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, they're missing out. On yeah, the we brilliance. should make an ad for for a birthday. Exactly. Um, it's it, it's funny. I, I saw this, and um, it, you put that there was a line uh, that they there was just a brand new Dunkin' Donuts uh, where you live. Correct. Right? I'm not going to say where you live. Um, you can say I can say Encino. Encino. Watch me body your horns. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's got a red light. But it's funny because I'm a fan of Dunkin' Donuts, but I, I'm a fan of it because when I would go to Boston, I, I go to Boston from time to time. Yeah. I've been to Boston in like at least maybe four or five years. Um, but uh, when I would go, I'd always go there and get a, a Boston cream pie and, of course, the, their um, you know the, their coffee. coffee. Yeah. You know, and it's funny because there's a there's one kind of by me in like the Bellflower area uh, of where I live, but I, I'm still not willing to travel that far unless like I'm kind of like around there. And even then it's just like, well. I would have brought you some, who knew? Yeah, I'm like, oh, well, shit. Now yeah. I didn't see, you know, did you go? Did you go check it out? No, but it was crazy. People were camped out overnight. Like, yeah, it's the first up. one, right? Pardon? Isn't it the first one? No, they, yeah, a, it was a first yeah. one. I mean, it could have been the first one in the LA area. There, well, there, there's a few. There's three. There's one in Long Beach, and I think one in Bellflower. And there's think, one in Santa Clarita now too. Oh wow! My mom lives up there. I saw that one just open. But uh, it was one. Whatever. It was one of the first in LA area. So people were camped out overnight, and people were getting there hours before it opened. And it's like it was. I remember that kind of for. For Krispy Kreme, which I understand yeah. they make it right there. Right. You can watch oh them. Oh my make gosh. It. And the but, smell, it just yeah, wafting through the air. Dunkin' Donuts. <sighs> uh. What's your favorite donut? My favorite donut? I, I like the uh, when they make the fresh Krispy Kreme. Yeah. The glazed? Mm. I like the glazed. I do like chocolate, though. Yeah. I like Tim Hortons up there in Canada, eh? They do a good donut <laughs> up there in Canada. The cronuts are good. <laughs> I haven't had a cronut. Oh, it's a croissant and a donut. Combined. It's good stuff. It's really oh. bad though for us gluten free girls because, <laughs> you know, I'm just sitting here going, oh, I want some they have donuts. Gluten-free, they have gluten free bakeries yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but not not like now Dunkin' that, Donuts. Now that we're moving to Silver Lake, mm. I'm sure there's going to be tons Right, of I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Boston. They're in Lago Silverado. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> think how late you're going to be for work. I think there's a place downtown that it's a, a vegan gluten-free bakery but i can't remember the name of it they're all over the place but it's you know it's just not the same thing as walking into a dunkin donuts with like all those different flavors right. like 
I love sprinkles. Sprinkles cupcakes. Sprinkles are fun. <laughs> sprinkles are amazing. I stand in line for sprinkles because they have one cupcake, and I mean that's it. It's a that's red sprinkles. velvet, red velvet gluten free vegan cupcake. Those are good, and I that's all those. I get. I'll go gluten free. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll eat about beat any. I'll eat about anything except <laughs> iceberg lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Like, but it's gluten free. Oh, it's gluten free iceberg lettuce. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. <laughs> oh, it's just sad. Do you still want to hug a baby elephant? I do. Have, and have you, you done that yet? You no, yet? I haven't. But I, you know, I saw this this thing on uh, sixty Minutes like a week or two ago, and they were talking about poachers in this uh, reserve somewhere. I don't remember where it was, what country, but uh, and they don't have the resources to to get rid of the poachers and I'm thinking what can I do to help and thinking you know what would serve my needs to help them out right. like what if I buy them some drones they can just <laughs> fly around and, and, and survey right. the uh, that's a the great Savannah idea if they don't have it because they only have like a force of like 20 security guys and they don't have the weapons to fight off a lot of the poachers so let's see I buy them some drones and they can go pet deliver to them and pet baby elephants that that's, that's an a amazing self-serving idea. Self-serving, though. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, well, whatever, whatever it takes. Yeah. Yeah, whatever it takes. But I did feel bad yeah. about the baby elephants and the elephants being poached. It's, yeah, it's, it's awful. Horrible. It's awful. These hunters are just—they make me sick. Yeah. We should hunt them. That'd put be them cool. On the reserve and just. Wasn't that a, a film? I uh, no, but I think Greg is writing that at Naked Starbucks. <laughs> Naked <laughs> Prey. Was it a movie called The Naked Prey? I think. I yeah, I think they're. Something like that. I remember it. Yes, you better pray because you're going to be naked and we're going to be chasing after you. Yeah. It's a good time. Very cool. Is, um, do you like uh, hockey? A little bit. A little bit? No, I'm obsessed with hockey. Who's, yeah. your, t- who's your team? The Kings. All right. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I like hockey uh, only because it's something for me to watch that isn't football. So like, okay, football's not on. All right, there's a hockey game. All right, let's watch that. Yeah, I'm not a really. I mean, it's funny. Like, I should be into basketball. I'm not really into basketball. Um, I, maybe because there's not f- fights or anything. I don't know. I'm just not into it. I think the last time I was into to basketball, it was because of Chick Hearn. I've always been like, I've always been a, a fan of the announcer. If, if the right. announcer is good, great. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, then then <laughs> I, I can watch a sport just like baseball. Like, I'm a big Dodger fan primarily because of Vince Scully. You know, I just love listening to his voice. Um, so yeah, so you know, in I don't know basketball. I haven't fa- I haven't found that one announcer that I can really like gravitate to. to. Yeah. yeah. Well, ho- hockey's good, but it, it really doesn't translate to TV like some of the other sports do. So you got to go see it live. Yeah, I saw it live once, and it was great because I got free tickets. And guess where the free tickets were? Nosebleed, yeah. which it was still cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I didn't you mind can't it. Can enjoy at all. it that way. I can. I'm a, I'm a guy that you know. I just I don't know. I don't need to know where the the hockey puck is because I mean the the humans will let me know, right? You know, while they're skating and stuff. I'm like, okay, that's probably where it's at. You know. Well, then they have those big they got screens, the screens too. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Got them that helps. Yeah, that's, back that's in my true. day, Sonny, they didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're working with um, Street Drum Corps. Did I hear that right? Well, I, I had those guys play on a a track that I did. It's like this crazy dance remix thing that I have never released yet. Well, you have to do that. Yeah. Dance remix. A, a one, of, remix one of my of, artists uh, like, is in that. Of a, uh, what do you call it? Throat singing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tube and throat singing. Now someone's going to steal my brilliant idea. <laughs> no, I did it on Dan Reed Records. Anyway, Sorry. so yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I had, I think I had Bobby Alt come in and play uh, some drums on the stuff that me and Loomis did too. He did nice. some drum overdubs and stuff. So that was pretty fun. It's one of uh, one of my artists, Nick Mason, is with them. So you know, I saw that on there. I'm like, wait a minute! Yeah. I didn't hear about that. That's because it hasn't been released Shame yet. Shame. I did it a couple right. of years ago. I <laughs> released this song. It's pretty cool. It's crazy. Well, you have a lot of songs, so you know, you can release it it's whenever just, you want. I, I just in the last few years, I finally got enough, uh, you know, courage to go outside my spectrum of just playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four punk rock. Which, uh, it's what been was a lot, it? Been a lot of fun. What was it that that made you uh, get that courage to do that? I would call it my midlife crisis. Okay, <laughs> like, uh, maybe about fifty. It's about time I do something a little different. You learned how to count. To <laughs> five. You know, I didn't. I didn't buy the fast car. I didn't. You know, start banging the young chick because I already did all that. You know, 
Like, I just, like, what am I going to do? Let's see. I'll just make new music. You're going to go to five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make music that people say, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, um, what I wasn't expecting is uh, our camera doing some technical difficulties. Aww. Do you want to stick around? Do you got some time? I know you got to go pick up your dog. Yeah, okay, what a S, as they say in Espanol. <laughs> ay caramba, hashtag ay caramba. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take an OMFG. Three. Yeah, we're going to take another break um, so we can switch out uh, the camera real quick. If you, if you got to go. I you, think I just I yeah, jinxed it's, it. It's 323. Oh, I better go. I yeah. Go. I'm sorry, kids. No worries. No worries. You won't get to see my, my goodbye on camera. No, it's it's all right. It's all right. They're, they're at least hearing it. So Maybe yeah. we can get Billy to like, my stuff. Send me some picture. iceberg lettuce and sharks and everything. <laughs> <laughs> just don't throw it at him. Yeah, uh, let's hear some more bad religion. And let me just you know say this: it, it was funny growing up as a you know as a uh, young turtle, spry turtle. Um, you know there was everybody in my my school that I went to Bassett. That's all they listened to was like bad religion, oh, yeah. and yeah, and, and circle jerks. So for me, this is a yeah. very uh, fulfilling. Um, t you know, time for me. Yeah. You know, uh, I was like, man, like uh, th this. I don't know. This is just cool. This is just cool to have you well, right thanks here. Thanks for having and, me down here. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah, and I can't wait to take a photo of just me and you, and then I can. Yeah, that's post not gonna happen. Yes, yeah, so I could post it to all my friends. Hey guys, remember? Look, this? look at me. Look at that weirdo. He doesn't like iceberg lettuce. <laughs> yeah, I think you know we all you know grew up on those on those songs, and um, for me that you know punk rock was my first yeah. you know music that I did professionally. I was in a band called Chaos, and it's like. You know, look with at me K now. With or a C -H. With the C. Okay. Yeah. She's like with yeah. a Q. <laughs> Whoa, Q. Chaos. We were the Whoa. coolest freaking band though. <laughs> our our drummer would dress in a karate gi and he would destroy his set every single night. And all of our fans danced on the dance floor and threw glass and danced barefoot because they wanted to bleed because we were punk rock. Uh, and yeah, so it was, crazy kids. I know, right? It's just a fad. It's a good time. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> I think that's what Flat Earth Society is about. Um, um. <laughs> uh, Twitter.com slash Greg Hedson. And then, of course, I'll have uh, your Instagram uh, once I Google you. Someday I'll have a website. You, want, uh, you have Twitter. <laughs> you, you got Twitter. That, that's all that's uh, really needed. And if you want to hear um, your radio show, uh, people just have to log on to what? Dash, Dash Radio? Dash Radio or download the app. It's free. And uh, you're on what? Wednesdays? Los, Los, yeah, Thursdays at 7 Pacific, p.m. Pacific. And it's on the Los Anarchy channel. Los all right. Anarchy. Very cool. Uh, once again, thank you for coming on. Really appreciate it. No and, problem. Um, My pleasure. I had a good time. <laughs> cool. Let's go hearing the stories from, uh, from, from Billy. Billy. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool, yeah. <laughs> He's cool. a madman. Very cool. Were you, would would you ever try to compare your stories, or are they un, like comparable to his? I, I, it's different experience, different people. You know. Yeah. I guess rock experience is rock experience. Right. <laughs> I'd love to see you guys play together. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Yeah, that would definitely be a good time. Okay. I'm uh, looking for a gig. Okay, deal. We'll we'll set that up immediately. <laughs> right. You heard it here first. Exactly. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Greg Hedson once again for uh, all your Greg Hedson needs. And uh, we uh, leave you with Flat Earth Society from Bad Religion.